Hello artists. Today we're going to do a rainbow picture. It'll be so fun to work on this and we'll talk about the order of the rainbow colors and we'll also uh, be using supplies will be paper, pencil, I'm going to use Sharpie but you don't have to, and then whatever you want to use for your coloring. Now first we're going to start with drawing a hill. So it's near the bottom and it's just a slightly rounded hill like that. And then we're going to start on our actual rainbow. So we're going to start with the very top one. Now does anybody know what the top color always is no matter what? It is red. Okay, I'm going to switch over now to my Sharpie, but you can keep going in pencil. Now the hardest thing about this project is going to be to try to make even colors. Just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, let's get our red one in. And next is, what color? Orange. And then yellow. I bet a lot of you know this little saying to help remember the colors. That's called Roy Vib. If you heard of that before, can you write that out? Roy. A Roy G, I forgot that, Viv. So the first color is always red, then orange, then yellow, then green, then blue, and next indigo, and lastly violet. What color is indigo? Well, it is between blue and violet, so a purpley blue. It's a little closer to blue, though. Okay, so we did red check. We've done orange check. We've done yellow check. Let's move on. How many in all are there? There's seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, this is a big rainbow, seven. Now if I had made them skinnier, it would make a smaller rainbow. And there's actually way more color than seven colors. There's upwards of a million colors, but our eyes are limited, so the way that we see them is Roy G. Vib. Now we want to add a little bit more fun to this picture, so we could add some clouds. And we could add a butterfly. You can think about what you think would be fun to have added. You don't have to do just what I do. I bet you you can think of some great ideas. And I'm going to put some bushes here. And then at the bottom, I'm going to add some flowers. So we're just going to do the, the outline, a simple outline. So 
try to come up with a variety of flower ideas. Or different ways to put in the petals. You can invent them. It's kind of fun to make up your own flowers. I'm going to repeat a tulip. I feel like we need another one of these. And one more like the first one. So you can either leave it like that, or if you want to do a stem and some leaves, you could do that. Okay, so now it's time for color. Remember what the first color on the rainbow is? It's always, always red. Next time you see a rainbow outside, look at it and really notice those colors. I'm going to do part of it, but I want you to do the whole thing. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, I'm gonna do it lightly. Indigo, and we talked about that being a combination of blue and purple. And then pure purple or violet is what we call it when we call it Roy G. Vic. Bib. Oh, let's see. Roy G. Bib. I might as well check off all these other colors. Awesome. We got them all in. And from here, you can add your color of your sky and your grass and bushes and your flowers. And then when you're all done, you're going to have a beautiful picture. So have fun making your own rainbow. Have a great time. Bye-bye.